So, uh, this is a tutorial on how to install uh, Civic CRM on WordPress. Uh, there's a few requirements before we get started. So, let me get right to it. Uh, you first need the files, uh, and you will find them on wiki.civiccrm.org. Download over here. Click on that and download the file for WordPress right here. So download and you need to look for the latest one that you have. And there you go right there. Download WordPress. Should say it's starting right here, and your download starts here. Once you have it here on your desktop, as a zip, you can then. I'll go ahead since I go ahead and cancel this since I already have it. I'm going to install it. So let's log into WordPress here on my site. Uh, Civic CRM installed, so I go here right there. You won't see any Civic CRM. So we're going to start with me going into my host manager. And here's my control panel. This is what normally you'll get into. Here's where you'll find your WordPress installs, your mail, your files. And what we want to do is go into the file manager. Right. There's a document root. Bar. And I get to see my files. So we need to upload the file to the plugins folder right here. So let's upload that. Upload, choose the file, and currently it's on my desktop. Six so arrow right there. Open. Choose. And it should be uploading right here. Let's give me give you a status. And it's complete. So now we can go back to the plugins folder. And you should see the Civic CRM zip file right there. Let's go ahead and extract that. And right in the plugins folder itself and extract. What this does is it opens, unzips the file and installs the Civic CRM project into the plugins folder. You'll see the extraction results. Everything should be okay. Scroll down, close, and now you should have a folder in here that says Civic. Let's go ahead and refresh. Uh, ref yeah, let's go ahead and reload our page again. And Civic CRM is installed. Now you can go ahead and delete this or leave it as it is. But the next thing you need to do is create a new folder called files. Let's go ahead and refresh the page again. And now you should have a Civic CRM and you should have files.
now we need to do is change permissions for these things so click on the files go under permissions oh sorry click on files right click change permissions and this is where we do add the permissions to write change permissions we also need to change permissions to the civic CRM right click on it change permissions right change it to 777 change permissions uh, we're also going to make change to the PHP config file uh, it's always a good idea to do that uh, in terms of changing it changing the version because Civic CRM actually goes with PHP 5.3 so let's select that as well and make your changes now that's done let's go into WordPress where we're going to see our Civic CRM plugin come up here let's go ahead and refresh uh, the plugins page so let's install plugin refresh and here you'll see Civic CRM let's go ahead and activate that so once we have Civic CRM activated let's go down to the settings CR, Civic CRM settings and this is where a lot of people have problems here trying to qualify the prerequisites you know like setting up the SQL server username password database you know basically the getting the PHP version getting it all going so database so let's go back to our host monster control panel and database you will see here we need MySQL database let's go in there and first things first we need let me just copy this so I can use that uh, we'll create a database username password and database so let's create a database here under the control panel in the SQL and there we go create database oh you know what I already have a database under that name so I am going to do uh, one okay we've created a database right here it says database created added civic so CRM one let's go back and create a user now and let's do CRM one seven okay uh, let's do seven let's create a password another password confirm let's create user there we go we've created a user right there now the next thing we need is to add you come back here in the database we need to add we just added we created the database but we haven't added the user so we need to add that user to the database and we do that by scrolling down here we'll click civic CRM and one and we add We give all the privileges in there so that the user that the user has admin rights and let's go ahead and make the changes and the user has been added to the database and that's how you add you create a user database now let's go back in here and just add in the password and our 
our database uh, prefix as well. You know. Three check requirements. And there you see everything is a green light. Now you should see everything that says OK to install. So let's go ahead and click requirements and install. And this should be installing Subic CRM to your WordPress and you should be successful with you should be successful install right there. Now let's scroll let's click on the configuration checklist and that's how you'll start getting your Civic CRM installed onto your WordPress. And there you go. Civic CRM administration, your navbar on top, administrator privileges, your console. You might want to start with your checklist first and then get this fill up, go through each section, fill out all the details, you know, English, price, USA, dollars, you know, fill out the field and save. Once you do that, you will see green. Keep going through this process, follow the process, follow the system. It's fairly easy and it gets you going soon. So I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach me at uh, ttkpixel at gmail.com. That's email is ttkpixel at gmail.com.